So AMREF was started in 1957 wow. by Sir Michael Wood. Sir Michael Wood. Yes. He's a founder, but mm -hmm. he worked with two of his friends. Mm -hmm. He was very young. When I've read his history, I'm like, this guy was not even 30. Oh, wow. He was a reconstructive surgeon. Mm -hmm. Remember what had just happened in 1945 to 47, Second World War. Second World War, yeah. And uh, reconstructive surgeons were in the battlefront. Yes. They were treating soldiers who yes. had been blown up by, by bombs mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. And therefore, he's, he wanted to come mm -hmm. and... Um, he wanted to just come and help. Come, come to into, like Africa? Into, into Africa. Oh, into, 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 Kenya, into Kenya, Kenya particularly. Yes. He okay. came to Kenya, mm -hmm. started, he found the need was so big. Mm -hmm. He came for a visit. Mm -hmm. He decided I'm staying. Mm -hmm. At that point, of course, there were many colonialists, so mm -hmm. there were friends. So mm -hmm. he kind of, mm -hmm. you, you know, you'd imagine how he came. Mm -hmm. There were other people from the UK. Mm -hmm. he, was, he was British. Mm -hmm. So then he found, wow, this is interesting. Mm -hmm. So he called one of his friends. Mm -hmm called um, Makindo, mm -hmm. who was actually a very well-renowned reconstructive surgeon, much older, mm -hmm. uh, who was on the battlefront. He's okay. actually well-renowned, mm -hmm. very highly awarded. Mm -hmm. Told him, come and help me do this work. So mm -hmm. Makindo came. Mm -hmm. Makindo died shortly after. Mm -hmm. um, and then he invited, you know, um, another gentleman. So there were like three of them. Mm -hmm. And they started now treating people around Mount Kilimanjaro, like talk, talk, right. okay? Right. And then they managed to now say, we need to raise money. Mm. So they went to the U.S. and registered a small charity, mm. uh, you know, called Africa Medical Research Foundation. Mm. And they started to raise money from there. Africa Medical, Medical Research, Research, Research Foundation. Foundation. That's how it started. Mm. And then they started there. Mm. They got their friends from Germany, mm. wherever. They started to raise money. They mm. bought a small caravan. Mm. And now they would fly. Mm. Before they would actually go, then they would treat there. And then they discovered, actually, if we buy a caravan, mm. we can treat more people. Mm. And the ones, complicated ones, we can bring them back mm. to maybe Nairobi, mm -hmm. treat them. Mm. That's how it started. Mm. But now as they grew, they found the need was bigger. Water was a problem. Sanitation mm. was a problem. Mm. Malaria, you know. So mm. they decided to expand the, the, the AMREF. Mm. They decided to go to more countries mm. and to do more work. Mm. That's how it started. Mm. So as they went across now, fast forward, mm. um, 2000. Mm -hmm. By 2000, mm. Sir Michael Wood was still running it now as a CEO as from a CEO. 1957, wow. founder CEO. Mm. He was now the director general. Mm. AMREF was worth maybe, it was running programs of $15 million a year. Mm. Mm. Uh, and then Millennium Development Goals happened. Mm. And the UN sat, mm. said poverty and disease mm. and ignorance have mm. been resolved. Mm. And they crafted the MDGs, mm. the eight of them. And mm. out of those eight MDGs, Three were very critical. Mm. Ending infectious diseases, mm -hmm. we have to end maternal mortality, we have to end child mortality. Mm -hmm. What did they do? Mm. Kofi Annan and his crew said, we need to raise money mm. and support these diseases. Mm. And therefore, aid into Africa mm. just shot up. Mm. And it found AMREF ready, already working in the continent. Mm. So AMREF picked up a lot of work on HIV, malaria, TB, mm. and it grew from $15 million to $100 million by 2012. So by that time, oh, yeah. by 2000, mm. it had not just been in Kenya. It had across expanded Africa. Africa, across Africa. It had expanded across Africa. To like it how had countries? largely been to, so it was Eastern, Southern Africa. Okay. But then also doing a lot of touch, light touch activity in other countries. Okay. So in East Africa, we had offices, mm -hmm. but then there was a lot of training of community health workers, training of health leaders mm. across the continent, okay. but without offices. Okay. But anyone you talk to, you go to Somalia, you talk to somebody from Burkina Faso, they'll tell you they have done a course or other. If with they have AMREF. been in the health system long enough, mm. they have done a course with AMREF. Mm. Either leadership or mm. this or that. Mm. Mm. Okay. So mm. it was touching the entire continent. Mm. But offices were largely East mm. and Southern Africa. Mm. Mm. Now, at this point, they had moved away from just flying f services. Mm. They were now doing the larger health services. Mm. But the outreach and the aircraft still remained. When you say larger health services, what are you... Maternal health, maternal health. child health, mm -hmm. water and sanitation, mm. training health workers, community health services. Mm. All that was mm. now being done. Mm. But the outreach of flying in and out to mm. places to do surgery, flying mm. doctors from here mm. to Ethiopia... Mm to Uganda, Tanzania, and mm, back mm, was still going on. Mm, so it had a huge mm, outreach department mm, with mm, even doctors coming and mm, attaching themselves to it. Mm, Aircraft, now they had two caravans, so it mm, was growing. Mm. Now, uh, at the same time, mm, all the way from 1957, because mm, of the demand for raising money, mm, as you can tell, up mm, to 2015, mm, you needed to rely a lot on your own money mm. because the MDGs hadn't come. Aid had not been organized. Mm. There's no organized aid mm. from international organizations. Mm. 
So AMREF was drawing its money from offices, the founders created in Europe and North yeah. America. Yeah. So they started to do fundraising from friends. Mm. They would do dinners, people mm. would come. And you know, mm. people there like to give. The, so it's the, what we used to do before then, traditional fundraising. fundraising. Exactly. Through dinner, through, from rich people. <laughs> from rich people. Yes. Dinners, philanthropies. Yeah. And that is what drove a lot of AMREF's work. Back then? Back then. Mm. It was not institutional. It was mm. very little. Maybe at some point the Swedish uh, government came and gave some money, mm. the Canadian government, but the majority of it was from mm. these offices. Mm. So AMREF established offices in the US, mm. in Canada, mm. and about another seven in Europe, mm. larger Europe. And those who are particularly for fundraising. For fundraising. Yes. So that the people who are working there yes. are are like fundraising specialists. Fundraising specialists. To organize these high level exactly. dinners and, okay. Exactly. Right, following okay. Mm. Then now aid starts to transition mm. and now governments are interested. Mm. Now governments are interested in Germany, in UK, mm. wherever. So mm. those offices started also to do intermediation. Mm. Like because they are there, mm. if you're now negotiating a new a contract or a grant with the UK government, mm -hmm. it's best that that office is dealing with it. Okay. Okay. All so right. they also took up between mm. fundraising. Now they started doing intermediation. Or like, For instance, like a, give a country example. Let's like give a country example. Mm. So let's say UK. Mm -hmm. The Department of Foreign Affairs in the UK now wants to support maternal health yes. in Africa. Yes. So then AMREF would go and they would, would be they would be able to, the office in the UK would work with the government to draw up the contract okay. and also oversight okay. with the African offices. Yeah. You get. Yeah. So the money would pass through there and then come to, to, the, the to Tanzania, Tanzania, to Malawi, to okay. wherever. Okay. Yeah. All right. The US the same. Mm. The Canada the same. Mm. You know, Netherlands the mm. same. So that role increased, mm. that role of intermediation mm. plus fundraising continuing. Mm. Then mm. advocacy became bigger. Mm. And those offices started also to do advocacy. Mm. Advocacy meaning that you're also presenting what African problems are mm. to those governments so that they can change their mindset about what to fund. Mm. So they decided to play those roles mm. and communication. Mm. So those offices still exist mm. up to now mm. and they report to headquarters. Mm. So when we say AMREF Health Africa, mm. people tend to understand there is AMREF elsewhere, but this is the Africa one. Yeah. The AMREF Health Africa is just a name. It is actually the global name. Mm. So all the offices in Europe and North America report. Are still AMREF Health are, Africa, they are US AMREF office. Health Africa, US, AMREF mm. Health Africa, UK, UK Netherlands. Canada, mm. Netherlands, mm. Spain. That's okay. very, very insightful. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. But they all, you know, report, report to, to the headquarter head, here. The okay? headquarter is. Where is it? Which yeah. is fundamentally yeah. just uh, dis a disruption by itself. Yes, you know exactly. that you have the headquarter of like a global. You have U.S. reporting to to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Exactly. You have U.K. and Netherlands and Canad Can Nairobi. Canadians reporting to, to Nairobi. A, 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 an office located in Langata in Nairobi. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Very, very interesting. So it's a, it's, a, it's 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 actually the disruption yeah. of the NGO sector. It is because everyone else is the other way around. Yeah. So we are located here. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So. The organization grew, mm -hmm. and it grew now to be a health development organization. Mm. And the model of AMREF has always been, because it started at community level, mm. the community has been the foundation of everything AMREF does. Mm -hmm. But we have never gone beyond Africa. We believe mm. that our mandate in Africa mm. has not been completed. Mm. So we don't do work in Asia. Yeah. We don't do work in any other country. Yeah. We do work in the Those African are sort country. of like support. Those are our support structures. Support structures and support offices. Exactly. So the work, so the AMREF, Health. The reason it's AMREF Health Africa is because Africa is where the it's concentration the yes. of the work is. Yes. Yeah. And it is health. So it's it health, is health. It is Africa. Yeah. Now you notice that Africa Medical Research Foundation mm -hmm. over time was shortened mm. into AMREF. Mm. So AMREF mm -hmm. was always referred in brackets, AMREF, mm. Africa Medical Research Foundation. Mm. Now that disappeared. Mm. So AMREF now stands as its own name. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's no now, it's not a short form of anything.